recognize this is a difficult vote for members of Congress. Many of them don't like the fact that our economy has reached this point, and I understand that. But the reality is that we're in an urgent situation, and the consequences will grow worse each day if we do not act. The dramatic drop in the stock market that we saw yesterday will have a direct impact on the retirement accounts, pension funds, and personal savings of millions of our citizens. And if our nation continues on this course, the economic damage will be painful and lasting. I know many Americans are especially worried about the cost of the legislation. The bill the House considered yesterday commits up to $700 billion taxpayer dollars to purchase troubled assets from banks and other financial institutions. That, no question, is a large amount of money. We're also dealing with a large problem. But to put that in perspective, the drop in the stock market yesterday represented more than a trillion dollars in losses. Furthermore, both the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office and the Office of Management and Budget ex expect that the legislation considered would ultimately cost the taxpayer far less than the $700 billion because the government would be purchasing troubled assets and selling them once the market recovers. It is likely that many of the assets would go up in value over time. Ultimately, we expect that much, if not all, of the tax dollars we invest will be paid back. As much as we might wish the situation were different, our country is not facing a choice between government action and the smooth functioning of the free market. We're facing a choice between action and the real prospect of economic hardship for millions of Americans for the financial security of every American. Congress must act. My administration will continue to work closely with leaders of both parties on Capitol Hill. I appreciate their determined efforts.